Can we work out when these workouts were invented? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. It's still January and that means chances are your gym is crowded mm -hmm. and your dad still has his holiday lights up. But don't worry, by March the gym will empty out and the lights will still be up. Yes, but right now everyone is trying out their new fitness devices, new workout routines, but they will soon fade into the past just like all those that came before them throughout mm -hmm. the decade. So today, we're gonna look at some of these workouts to see if we can tell exactly which decade they came from. It's time for Year Eye with Two Straight Guys, Exercise Edition. In each round, we're gonna see an exercise that was made popular from a past decade and then we'll guess that decade uh, by shuffling on the shuffleboard. Look at this shuffleboard. It's back. All <laughs> yeah, right. It's exactly the same. <laughs> Who's closer to the actual year wins the round? The loser must wear a sweaty headband throughout Good Mythical More. Mm, let's shuffle. Round one. Okay, let's see our first exercise. Okay, well, Teresa, hello. You, she's, wow, you're good at that. Uh, you call that a balance board? Is that what you call that? I call that a... a a, a skateless skateboard on a on a cylinder. Okay, that's pretty literal. Uh, okay, Link, one last time, so he's gonna go first. Now, I, I'm getting like a 70s vibe, and I don't know if it's because you got a headband on, it's not, you know, it's... Yeah, go with that. I, I just feel like this is something that's like groovy, man. Kind of like, I don't know, maybe that's 60s. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go with 1960. That decade and then I'll block you from other parts of the board. Now, I think this thing's kind of heavy. Oh, yeah! Okay, that's good. You a did, little shy. You did what you tried. Not much you can do. All right, Teresa, I'm gonna give this thing yeah. a shot while Red is, um... Be careful. What do you mean, be careful? I know what I'm doing. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, more weight on the Just, left side. More weight on the left side. Well, there's a lean on the left. Oh yeah, lean God. hard on the left. Oh my God! Hard on the left. I'm 41 years old. <laughs> now here's the thing, he wouldn't be able to do this at all if he wasn't wearing that incredible sweatsuit. <laughs> it adds 10% athleticism. Okay. Oh I gosh. think the, the question- I'm sweating out of dis anxiety. Get back on there. The question is, did something- If you want to. There's a difference between when it was invented and when I became aware of it. When did you become aware of it? Last year. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's 2019 is not an option. I don't know, man. I feel like this is 90s. All right, shuffle away, man. Try to get around me. One, two, the 90s. <laughs> Too far. Okay, uh, hopefully. We hit 1950. <laughs> okay, so that is called the balance board. It's a fitness device that can help enhance stability and coordination. It was invented by World War II pilot Stanley Washburn after seeing kids on the African Gold Coast playing on a log in 1956. 1956. Hey, that's Dang what, it. Exactly, right where I landed. You nailed it by accident, you jerk. Round two. Quick reminder, a new Fancy Fast Food episode dropped today on the Mythical Kitchen channel, so go check it out. Subscribe to that channel. But now let's take a look at our first exercise. Hello, Emily. Hey. All right, no apparatus. So yeah. this is just you and your sweats? Yep, just me and some big sweats. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Looking real cool. All let's right. Let's see it. Uh. Okay. Oh. oh, what? Okay. Get funky. Okay. High kicks. High kicks. Your kids love you. I promise. Oh yeah, now she's going sideways. Okay. All right, little footwork. There we go. A little more footwork, some kicking. Now she's back to that. And there it is. Woo! All right. Wow. You know, you know you've had a good workout when it ends with and there it is. <laughs> uh, you're winning, so you go first now. What do you, you want me to do you... more? Is there more you want me to do you can, with that? You, you keep moving. If you no, want that's to. cool. I just want to make sure it's over. Uh, wow. I mean, I don't even really know what just happened. I mean, you danced. I mean, I guess this is like when aerobic dancing started to happen. Uh, 
Hmm. When would that happen? 60s or 70s is what I'm thinking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to land on the 60s and then hope that you push me into the 70s when you try to move me out of the way. Mm. Or I'm just gonna land on the 70s. Now, here's the thing. I, th I think this is like, I don't know if this is jazzercise or if this is some sort of like disco you dancing. You think it may be a proprietary exercise Yeah, I think thing. she's doing something specific like disco dancing, like inferno cardio, like disco inferno cardio. Well, that would be the 70s, which right, is where, so I'm, where I'm at. I'm about to obliterate you out of the 70s and nestle myself right where you were. Okay. Don't miss. Go! Okay. That's, that's a good move. I Mission mean. accomplished. Okay, Emily was demonstrating jazzercise. Yes! Very well, I must say. Uh -huh. Which combines dance strength and resistance training with popular music. It was invented by Judy Shepard Missit, who was teaching up to 35 classes a week when she first started jazzercise in 1969. Oh, You were man. so close, but so, the wrong decade. But, but you're still, still closer points. and get the point. Nice. We're tied up. Round three. Demonstrating our next exercise device, mythical team member, Nick Lopez. Oh, you guys never met Nick. First time on the show. Hello. You may know Nick as a tennis legend around Burbank. Yes. Uh, if you're around Burbank. How you feeling, Nick? Fantastic. How fast can that thing go? Let's find out. Speed up. Whoa, there's lots Speed of beeping. Up. There's lots of. There you go. Hey, we're gonna, we're Come gonna, on, Nick. we're gonna create a gift. What do you mean? When he falls? When he falls. Here we go. This is oh my God. Don't. <laughs> oh, the tongue's coming out. Oh, I'm nervous. Woo. Oh my gosh, that thing bounces. That's as fast as it goes? It is the fastest it goes. Okay. That's the maximum? That's 10. That's, that's level hey, don't 10. Don't get fancy doing things with your hands now. Okay, stop before you hurt yourself. I mean, I did want wow. you to fall, but you took too long, so. <laughs> okay, uh, Here, Link. Why don't you go we first? Can stand up there. Okay. Just, just act like you're still going. Just like do some sort yeah. of. There you go. Right. That's good. That's nice. Uh, here's the thing. W which came first, the <laughs> the electrified treadmill, or a non-electrified version that this also is a stand-in for? Now I know that there's electricity in it all the way back, but I'm just wondering: is this the electrified treadmill or just a treadmill? And it could, it could have been an unelectrified version. The first time the treadmill was invented for exercise is the decade we're looking for. Invented for exercise. Well, what was it used for before then? Science! Like, I love Lucy at her, like, factory job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think this is pretty early, but um, I'm thinking 20s. Uh huh, okay. Stop, 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 stop! Okay. Uh, I was thinking either 20s or 40s, because 30s is not. Uh, an option. No, it's not. Uh, you should go for 30. 10 seems like, eh, I wouldn't be surprised, but I think the only thing that I have left to do is I have to knock you into the back to secure my answer. You going for a defensive move here? I'm doing exactly what you did on the last round. Cowardice, I'm knocking man. you further away from any potential answers. You're a coward. <laughs> Boom! Woo! Strategy! Boom! Strategy popular since 1910. Okay, Nick was of course running on the treadmill and doing so while smiling, which which was very nice. Thank nice you, Nick. Uh, treadmill is a device that or originates from the late first century AD when the Romans used it to lift heavy items and it was used for various different purposes over thousands of years. But the treadmill finally transformed into an exercise machine when it was patented by Claude Lorraine Hagen in 1913. Wow. See, so and I actually have a photo of one of the earliest wooden treadmills. That's oh, that's nice. It's, that's dangerous. So your cowardice move gives you the point, though we both looked horrible. Right. Round four. Let's see another exercise with Mr. David Hill. Oh, wow. Hey, good morning, gentlemen. Hey. What size weights you got there? Got uh, two pounders. Two pounders. All right, so. Arms out, legs out. <laughs> arms out, legs out. Have you seen this before? I've never seen arms out, legs out before. Okay, so now what's he doing? Semi-circle. Leg, Leg semi-circle. Semi you still got the weight, Leg. though. So is the chair part of this, David Hill? Yeah, I believe yes. so. I think it's like chair size, chair size. Ch okay, so you're going first because- Ch Chairs are size. 
You're in the lead. You don't There's have another one running oh. in place. <laughs> running in place? Now you're just making stuff up now. You look, seem like you do this on a regular basis. You ever walk by him at his desk? He's always doing, doing that. Yeah. So in which decade was there a lot of sitting? I don't know if that's the right question. Arms out, legs out. In which decade did they come up with ideas like, you know what? You don't even have to get out of your desk. That feels like an 80s thing to me. So I'm gonna try to land on 1980. <laughs> or I'll just land right at the top. All right, now let, here's the let thing. Me, let me try that chair. Now, see, I could do the, I could try to do the cowardice power move and slam you all the way back, but that's a long way to travel. Like this? Yep. Semi-circle. Yeah, I yeah. actually think this is Flip, a, flex and everything. this is in the 2000s. David, you know what I'm going for? You weren't listening to me. Oh no, I, I, I know. I'm You're just... going for 2000. Do you think that's right? He can't Who give knows? you answers. That's what I'm saying, yeah. I just know the moves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? But it, I'm closer to most everything than you, which that's a nice move. You're not like, closer to 1980. No, I'm not. That's the only way I could win, I think. Okay, so this is called chair size. Whoa! So close. What did so I say? Chairs are size? I, yeah, something like that. Okay, whatever. A weight loss program intended to prevent pain or injury by doing it completely sitting down. Okay. It was invented by fitness trainer Daryl Madison, but we weren't sure exactly which year he invented it, so we called him, ha! and he told us he created it in 2007. Whoa! Yes! Wow, See? you were right. It's, it's, it's simple. All right, so I got the point. Man, we are all tied up! Tied up! Round five. Okay, let's see this last exercise. Hello, yes. David. What's David gonna do with that pole? <laughs> I wonder. You guys ready? Oh yeah, I've been ready so my whole ready. life. What, whoa, what? <laughs> David. Please don't, tell me whenever you please don't make eye contact as you All come right, around. I'm slipping now. What, a, what else have you got? Oh, I'm dizzy. <laughs> Hold on, that was absolutely incredible. He, he's not pole dancing. Where is he? He's he is he's pole spinning. He's pole exercise. Have you ever seen pole dancing? Because that does happen sometimes. No. Pole dancing as an exercise, I think, is the thing that we're trying to guess. Okay, we've kind of determined that this whole knocking the other guy's ball out of the way is kind of a cheap way to win. So for yeah, this the, final round, it's very cowardly. We're the not thing gonna, that you did. We can't touch each other's balls in this final round, okay? And by the way, you also did it to me before I did it to That's you. That's true. You touched my ball, then I touched your ball. Now, what we're gonna do, you can't touch each other's balls, but that means the guy who goes first has a slight advantage now. Since you won this game last time, we're tied. I'm going to get to go first. Hmm. Don't overthink it. If you're trying to figure out why we just came up with that, don't overthink it. Well, um, you have the advantage because now you can block me because I can't hit you. Right. Um, I've only been aware of people using the pole for things other than, you know, uh, just for exercise in the last 12 to 15 years. That's not an option. So it's gotta be the 80s or the 90s. So I'm gonna try to land on the 80s, which will kind of block you and make you have to reach around for the 90s. <laughs> I think you went too far. Oh, too short. Dang it. I think you're right. This is a recent thing. We know 2000s off the board, so I'm going for 90s. Now, if I touch you. You lose. I'm disqualified. Yeah, don't touch my ball. All right, here we go. Just kind of nudge, kind of close to you. Nestle in the 90s. Yeah. Yep. Okay, I can't see how you could not win unless it, this pole dancing was invented in 1910, <laughs> which has okay, already been so, an answer. Yes, David was demonstrating pole dancing. It's believed to have originated as a performative art in America when the Hoochie Coochie Girls danced while they set up tent poles at fairs in the 1920s, but this was first taught to non-performers as a fitness class by Fania Mondi Dietrich in 1994. Woo! There you go. Congratulations, Link. That means I got to wear a sweaty headband in Good Mythical More. And I get a celebratory twirl from David. Woo! Look at that. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, this is Yanni, currently at the Florida Barrier Reef off the coast of Key West, and it's time to spin the Wheel of Mythic County. Camera's ruined. Oh my gosh. Click the top link to watch and see if up? we can match the crew to their terrible gem story in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. I was playing with it yesterday and I forgot to put on a mask and I inhaled some and then I freaked out and I started snorting water over by the sink and trying to make myself throw up. It was very painful. <laughs> painful indeed. 